background, I click OK. And we can now see the structure of the final web page, an audio player, a block of text, a photo. I now want to enter a new block of text. I go back to my notepad, copy the next part, Control C, paste it in. I want the first line as a headline, so I enter an asterisk. I click Finish. I want another photo. I put in one more text block. I click paste text. In this case I don't want a headline so I just click finish. I take one more photo, click on graphics. I take one more text block. Control C. Paste text. Finish. And one more photo again. And the final block of text. Paste. Finish. And this is all I want for my web page. So I continue to select dictionary. To select the dictionary, I choose the language of the text. The text was in English, so I click on the line called English. And here, that is where I select which dictionary language to link to, from English to, and I just try to select English, so it will look it up in a monolingual dictionary, but the end user can actually change the language. So, finally, I can click on a summary to see everything that I have selected. This version of Text Blender gives me a summary of all the selections, like the headline, if there is an audio player to start with, the instructions to the end user, the size of the different text blocks, uh, what the next button will link to, and the different copyright notices at the bottom. Should I want to change something, I can for instance go back to main content. I can there click on one of the text blocks. If I have found that there is an error, edit it and click finish. You can click on export to export the final web page from any of the areas in the text blender. So let's click on export. It is now recommended to save your work because that will enable you later on at another point in time to restart the text blender with all your settings and all your entries there and you can go in and make changes. So that is what I'll do now. I've prepared an empty directory in the root that I call zero zero demonstration so I just save it there and now for the web page and I want to save the web page in the same directory call it Fred and click enter it now tells me that the file is ready to open I also get an option again to save the changes if I do this now that will override the original text blender file so I will say no. Copy the audio file and the photos that I use and I click on the fret htm. Because this is a local file I have to permit it to run the active content to allow block content. Yes. An overview and brief history of the tube. It's old. End of story. Okay. No. You can now click on a word. Let's Click on the word treat and look it up in an English to English dictionary, which is the one that I selected. If an end user is not satisfied with the selection of dictionary from English to English, the target language can be changed. For instance, if I want it in Danish, 
and I then click go and the word is then looked up in an English to Danish dictionary. Should I want to make changes I can go back to my text blender to the main content for instance I can change the first text delete it finish and then export the web page again export web page give it the same name yep to see the change I need to refresh the web page refresh an overview and brief history of the tube and the first part of the text has now disappeared. You can learn more about the text blender and how to put the files online in the real internet by going to the web page called www.languages.dk click on the tools area and from there you can watch the different videos that shows how to do so. Enjoy!